All right, so here we are. Uh, starting a quick video just for funsies. <clears throat> just got back from Pipco and uh, had enough time to fire off a couple texts and you know grab one of these. What is this? This is a nooner. I don't remember the name of it, but it's pretty good. So uh, we're at full loadout right now. And uh, this is going to be my weekend pack for whenever we go to Rockport. Mostly just in case. Not really anything important. But uh, more or less just to fuck around. Drink beer and maybe go and get stuck. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway. I can show you what's in it. Maybe I should do that. Yeah, that might be fun. Yeah, that'd be fun. We'll try. Okay, so here we are, full loadout. Uh, we've got the uh, camelback loaded down with all my other gear. And I'll step back here. I actually put the GoPro on the beer. So we've got the ribs, front wear, and we've got the uh, camelback meal. Got some goodies in here. So let's just see if we can detail this out really fast. Got one flashlight in there. Got the uh, iPhone right here. Battery. Uh, another battery pack here to charge the iPhone. <clears throat> got uh, just some really basic goodies right here. Got a lighter with some duct tape. Cowboys duct tape, thank you, Nanny. Some uh, Kevlar string and Carmex. <clears throat> and here we go. Most important pocket. You've got that uh, TP Amazon headlamp, uh, about a, uh, what is it, thousand lumens, and I bought the uh, little diffuser to turn the beam from a circle into like a flat, flat beam. And then we've got 38 Special, and uh, some Advil and some rubber gloves for, of course, skinning a deer. That's basically why I put this, put this set up together. And that video is a buck twenty nine, so we're gonna end it there. Anyway, we just got done discussing the ribs wear. So we've got a camelback, and let me just double check, make sure I get this right. Hog NV. I think I called it a mule last video. So this might be a bit long, but uh anyway, a couple of additions I've made to the bag have been this um cold weather rated uh tube for the camelbacks and it pretty much just comes with the um, neoprene um, exterior and the uh, cap for the uh, little mouthpiece here. And uh, I've got a liter of water in here, uh, nothing too big. Let's see if there's anything in here. I shouldn't have anything in here, but apparently I have a uh, <clears throat> storm whistle and this thing is incredibly loud. This will wreck your eardrums. Do not take this to a baseball game. They will kick you out. Um, I've got my Ruger Mini 30 magazine in here. Um, I originally had this bag set up for hunting, so I'd carry it to, to and around uh, the hunting lease. So we're gonna enter the primary pocket here. Um, one of the items I always carry is uh, a USB stick and I create <clears throat> multiple different formats of just identification documents so that uh, discussing the uh, USB stick, multiple formats of identification on there. I just like to have that um, just as added layer of security. Um, I always keep a carabiner. You never know when you're gonna need that. That's a pretty heavy duty one. I think it's rated to like 8,000 pounds. Um, <clears throat> we've had some pretty crazy weather here in Texas lately. Uh, it's October. Uh, 23rd and there is a category 5 hurricane moving up from Mexico to our region and we've had like two foot of water outside uh, additional storm surge I guess so here we've got some NGG toe socks and a uh, Burton beanie just kind of carrying that you know just in case you get wet and cold and need to change your socks or something and then I've got a nice Columbia $50 um, just a rain jacket 
and I've got all of that stuffed inside of uh, outdoor research kind of just stuff sack. Pretty good to have. Um, lightweight, throw them anywhere. Don't really have to care about them. They're water resistant. So we'll go through the outermost pocket here. This one, this is kind of like my utility pouch. Um, I've got just to kind of back up, back up a uh, headlamp, uh, a couple different modes on it. Um, I won't really discuss that. Once again, I did set this pack up for hunting. Um, so this is kind of like my, my primary skinner. Um, he's more of like the light duty work. I've got a, another one made by a company called Trekker. Uh, they've got the finger grips in it. So if you need to get down and dirty cutting something, uh, I would switch to that knife, but this is kind of just my primary like $20 knife or something. Um, rubber gloves, okay, once again, skinning. Um, Gatorade pack, just if I need it. Uh, fire starter, always carry one of those. Um, might be it. Oh, some goo, that was from a hiking trip in uh, Colorado. Um, I've got my medicine in there, you never know when you need, a, need your medicine. This is sunblock with insect repellent. Pretty good for biting flies. Got another one in here too. <clears throat> After bite. Have to have that. Once again, I am headed to a different part of Texas where we're gonna have a lot more bugs, so. All right, so we'll switch to the other pocket here on the uh, Camelback Hog NV. And this is more or less my, my first aid compartment. I uh, got a first aid kit with just a little simple paracord thing here, uh, just so that, you know, if that thing comes unzipped and it falls out, I'll, I'll feel it fall out and I'll be able to put it back in there right. But this thing, I think I have some rubber gloves, and just really basic stuff. Yeah, rubber gloves, steri strips, small band-aids, like knee size band-aids, uh, gauze, small gauze, well, small, two inch and uh, bigger gauze, like four inch. Okay, so we've got some tape here, eye drops, dental floss, caffeine pills, Neosporin, and Advil. Uh, that was for higher altitude stuff, so that, you know, my Texas ass wouldn't get altitude sickness or anything. So let's just go ahead and get this zipped up real fast. Just shove it all in there, it doesn't really matter. Once again, pretty uh, pretty clever idea with one of those little end knots for paracord stuff. Good, good knot. Just learned how to tie that today. So once again, this is like my medical side and repair side. So we've got black tape, pretty much always, always necessary. This, this is a combat application tourniquet that was given to me by a buddy who was um, active duty army deployed uh, over uh, Iraq and um, just just kind of a gift but uh, pretty useful you fall you know you gash yourself or something real bad you got an artery bleed you've got one um, so maybe two ounces of weight just to uh, you know save your life artery bleed will kill you in just a couple minutes so good to have or you know two if you're skinning a deer and you you know you cut your knee or something need it <clears throat> Zip ties, you can use those to fix pretty much anything. Maybe not an artery bleed. Um, EpiPen. Um, I don't personally need this for anything, but uh, this was scripted to me by my doctor uh, for a injection I had that they were not sure if it would cause a reaction to my body. So I just carry that, you know. Anyway, moving on, quick plot. Uh, this thing basically um, reacts with your blood to form a clot. Uh, this was kind of like my my primary med kit while cycling in the event that I, I didn't get hurt. So um, by no means am I advocating the use of this product or um, anything else. You know, be smart. Use your own judgment. This is basically just my blanket, my Mylar blanket. I've got two in here. There might actually be three, but uh, I know for a fact I have two in here. So my whole plan with these was if I was hiking, I could just use some of my tape or something to put them together, but uh, they're both pretty big. This one's actually a little bit bigger than a sheet of plywood. 
um, so enough to wrap myself up or you know another person or something. What else do I have in there? I think that's it. So uh, this thing's also got that rain fly. This here, it'll it'll roll out and go up over the bag, keep everything nice and dry. So you never know, it, it would work out pretty good. But um, I'll just kind of put this back together a little bit and give you an example of how I use the bag. Moving on, come on backpack. So this was an addition by myself. Um, I was actually worried the outer pockets would come unzipped when I was cycling with my bike tools because it would compress on my back in a manner that would be more like a tortoise shell. So I just did this to uh, just keep those together. You know, they can only come apart so far. Um, good measure and you can always take these off to, uh, you know, use them for something. So the only other modification I would say I made was the addition of this little, um, I think it's like a Vietnam era, era um, first aid pouch. And I don't use this for anything medical related, but uh, I did find out this will fit two Coors cans quite well. So when you're walking to the deer blind and you need some beer, you know, you just pop a beer out. And then once you finish it, you can just put it in here and you don't really have to worry about it about that empty can getting your bag wet and funky so pretty much what I use that for but uh I wish that were black that would be really cool if it was so that's that's fun um additions what other additions oh when I was cycling with this pack it was really difficult to grab those little zippers so I added a little knot of uh paracord same on this side as well um, unfortunately, these pockets are not big enough to fit an iPhone. Uh, they will hold a knife, like a small pocket knife for a Leatherman. Zip tied up the uh, adjustment strap for this. Uh, this one's got, or I thought it had the elastomer in it, but it doesn't. Anyway, I tucked that thing through there so that it wouldn't get my way or rub my belly. But uh, that's pretty much it. So. And that is, once again, a Camelback Hog NV and all other associated gear uh, that I do carry. Pretty much any time I put this bag on or if I'm going out of town, I take it. Um, don't really need this sort of stuff in it, but uh, it's there. It's set up for hunting right now. But Yeah, it's got those nice pads on the back, so if you fall on your ass or something, you've got some protection and some cushion. Pretty much it. Thanks, Chris.